Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily. Coming up on today's show, news of yet more impressive trad climbing from James Pearson and the first part of our exclusive interview with alpinist Stefan Benoit. Only last week we reported on James Pearson doing some pretty impressive trad routes in Italy, but now we've got some amazing footage and some really good stories from his recent trip to Turkey. James and his wife, Caroline Chiavaldini, recently spent a while exploring the Sakaya region on the north coast of Turkey and both of them came back with some decent new routes. First up was James's ascent of Cobra Krakinet. He graded it E87A in British terms, that's basically 8B plus in sport, pretty spicy stuff. Next up was Caroline making the first ascent of James Inade, which she graded E6, 6B in British terms. That's about 7B in sport grades, but apparently the protection was pretty sketchy. Check out this footage of the trip taken from their epic TV series, Turkey and Trimmings. The perfect line seemed to always be just around the corner. That, uh, that promise that was never fulfilled. Until, on one of the the last days before we thought to leave, I uh, turned one, one corner one morning and found it. It's like the cobra crack of Turkey, this, this perfect orange wall, orange spire, split by this thin finger crack, slightly overhanging, it just begged to be climbed. So we extended the stay and uh, got to work. <laughs> That looks like the sort of place I want to check out. Come on Epic, stump up the cash. Up next we've got part one of our exclusive interview with alpinist Stefan Benoit who repeated the steck line on the south face of Annapurna. On the 24th of October, Stefan Benoit and Yannick Graziani made the second ascent of the steck line on the south face of Annapurna. The pair are now safely back in France and yet when I talk to Stefan the physical effects of the climb are obvious to see. What's yes, I've got uh, big injuries, yeah. f frostbites, but uh, it's okay. Despite Stefan's seeming indifference to his injuries, the climb was indeed a long haul and they spent 10 days on the face. Eight days to go up and two days to, to go down. We stay two days in uh, 6,700 meters in the bad weather. No Chirac risk on this route, okay. but uh, Rock falls, yes, mm. big problem. When grades are given for new routes in the Himalayas, it can often sound like the pitches aren't too difficult, but at 7,000 meters of altitude, everything is difficult. The third day in the head wall, in one pitch, I think um, I climbed uh, one hour and 30, or maybe two hours, something like that. One pitch? Yes, ju one pitch just for me, and two hours and a half maybe for together. In the day, with the sun, it's not very, very cold and there is no, no snow, only good ice, but steep and very high, so yeah. very hard. The pair finally got the weather that they were waiting for and managed to summit on the 24th of October. And we saw the photos on the summit day, yeah. perfect day. We were very lucky, Yeah. We had a long, long period of nice weather. How do you feel on the summit ridge? Happy. Happy because we find it was possible to, to do it. So the last day we were happy. I was tired, so concentration to, to make the track, and uh, I'm counting my, my steps. Yeah. 10, more or less. Stop. 10. When I was young, I read Messner. He did like this. Yeah. So I try always to do like this. I yeah. count my, my steps. Thanks Stefan, hope the recovery is going well. We've got part two on Climbing Daily tomorrow, see you then. Um, I feel like I'm getting really close each day. I'm making bits of progression and starting to really link good sections together.